Teens know how it works. You can have a great reputation, but then one piece of gossip, one rumor that's spread around, and everyone just jumps on it. Because adolescents, as they're trying to figure out who they are and trying to get affirmation and validation from other people, they also participate in this like inclusion versus exclusion thing. You know, just to again feel like they belong to a small group while they reject others. I hope tonight was to really encourage, empower, and equip parents because many of them come not really knowing what to do as it relates to helping their kids with technology. And so we covered a lot. We covered communication. We talked about apps that they can use to monitor, even though again, we want to lean more towards not violating their trust, but again, continuing to remind them about the right things to do in all situations, whether it's offline or online. We talked about resources that are available for them, such as scripts to dialogue with their kids, questions specifically to ask their kids what to do if their kid's the victim or the offender, how to cultivate empathy, how to also share positive stories of other teens who are doing the right things that can hopefully um, inspire their own kids to do the right things, even though sometimes it's hard, especially in a world which sometimes glamorizes cruelty. I've had the fortune of being able to go to a lot of schools, both private and public, all across our nation. And some of the schools are behind the eight ball as it relates to prevention and response of bullying and cyberbullying, and they just deal with incidents as they crop up. Seminole County, on the other hand, they've been really progressive, and they've been doing things for a number of years. They range from curriculum enhancements inside the schools themselves to peer-based programming, whether it's peer connectors or peer mentoring, they have kindness clubs, for example, at Lake Brantley. They have created the To Be Kind movement, which has then branched out to other schools. Um, we have uh, contests that have been set up. We have a hotline where kids can even text in anonymously issues that they might be struggling with. And so they've been doing a great deal to make sure that they demonstrate to students that, look, we're here for you, we care, and we want to help. Our site is the Cyberbullying Research Center, and that's at cyberbullying.us. And it has a wealth of resources very practical strategies and tips and other information for parents, educators, and youth to really use, and all of it is for free.